Alright. Um, back. Uh, I guess I've got. Uh, what? Uh, five stars? Or four, and the uh, somebody just stole the fifth one. Uh, and then I got two more after that to get. So, uh, not sure. I may be able to beat it today. Uh, I'll have to see. He's probably gone out here. Uh... Wait, who, who was it that took it? It was someone, uh... One of, uh, what's his name's guys? Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know this was just another part of the town. Okay, they're just up here. or something. Uh, I think I should have had Peach in here. Well, I can see what hurts them. Okay, the fireball doesn't hurt them. Very good. Okay. Nope. Huh. Okay, I guess I want to just probably stay with physical attacks. Right, I guess I, I changed her after I saved, uh, so she's back in. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll check the store. Maybe they're back to normal now. Uh oh. I was hoping there'd be the town residents uh, back now.
All right, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll go back to another town. Uh, one that I can actually go to the store in. Uh, I guess Marymore would be the highest town. Uh, and then at the store, I'll uh, upgrade all my... Well, I'll upgrade my equipment if I... Uh, can, but otherwise, uh... Oh wait, there was, uh... There was a store in the ship, I thought. I'm gonna check the ship. I yeah, I thought there was a store in here. I want to use Peach for that fight because uh, he can attack everybody, so she can heal everybody uh, every turn. Let's see, uh, 19 experience points. Yeah, I thought there was a store in here, uh, but. Maybe I was wrong. I'm just gonna find a list of the stores. Uh, I thought there was one in the uh, the sea, but uh, I don't really want to go running around looking for it. Says it's the uh, the entrance to the sea near or near here, anyways. All right. All right. Uh.
Okay, there was uh, nothing in uh, there that I wanted. Uh, I think the store at the uh, tadpole place. Uh, I know there's the one that has the group for the uh, frog coins, but the other one I think uses normal coins. Uh, yes. Right, so this is what I wanted. Uh, since he's going to be hitting everybody, I might as well stock up on elixirs. That may be helpful, but uh, I don't want to, I don't know, waste my frog coins on something that's uh, expendable. Alright, uh, let's see if this does it. Uh, I'm just going to go and uh, save first, just in case. This time, uh, if I can't, yeah, if I can't beat him this time, I'll probably have to go and grind. I don't know, one or two levels. I'll see if that works. I kind of doubt it will work, but it would be nice. Uh, so the, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, I just gotta hit him. doesn't fully heal everyone. Uh, okay, then Bowser or Mario could use the uh, other item. So I do about 130 to 160 per turn. He had 1500 HP, so that should be like, what, 12, 11, 12 turns? Peach, we should have enough flower points for Peach to heal at least like 13 times. Uh, so, I guess we should be good if we just keep doing this, unless he's got like a second form or he starts using uh, uh, more powerful attacks.
got enough, uh, enough pick-me-ups to keep Peach uh, alive. Uh, unfortunately, she comes back with full health. If they don't both attack her, then uh, it doesn't matter. She can survive one hit anyways. here if uh, like, uh, what exactly happens with the damage here if uh, one of these is the fake or something and any damage under them just doesn't count Probably the left is the real one then. Uh, before Peach was hitting one of them and doing like 40 damage. And then she was hitting him and doing like two, so I'm thinking that's probably the fake or the real one. Alright. Uh, I did it. Yeah, I decided to have Peach on the team, I guess. Uh, and that's the fifth uh, star piece for good now. this, I guess.
I guess I should, uh... Uh, check out uh, all these stores. Ah, uh, so that's what they were talking about, about the beetles earlier on. Uh, alright, let's see. So that looked like that was like every weapon up till now. Uh, same, like every armor. I guess I'm all healed and everything. got one, but uh, they seem like they could be useful uh, some other time, like with the second character. Right, uh, I should uh, check that equipment I bought. Supposed to just climb mushrooms around or whatever. And then, like, there's some chance of him giving me something, I guess. I didn't buy their weapons. Uh, I'm guessing I'm supposed to talk to the mayor or whatever.
Okay, I must have been hitting the button when it was pointing up. She'll get something next level. Uh, I hope it's an attack spell or something. Uh, she's like uh, indispensable when, uh, you know, at certain points, but completely useless at other points. So, there's a cannon down here. Yesterday I finished uh, talking about all the games I played this year. Um, I figured I'd go through just like uh, what my I guess top and bottom ten were, whatever. Yeah, typically every year I just keep a list of the games I played and kind of running like uh, top ten and bottom ten. Uh, so for I don't know I guess. Uh, The tenth worst game would be uh, Air Memories of Old on the Switch. Uh, most of my games I played this year, even the bottom ten, weren't really bad. And so you know, this one wasn't you know, it wasn't like horrible or anything. It was just really kind of plain, and uh, you know, the gameplay was really boring and underwhelming. Uh, it looked cool, but that was about it. Uh, and unfortunately the studio seems to be, have gone under, so there's no, uh, you know, there's not, they're not going to improve on it in the next one or anything. Uh, I guess for... Uh, I don't know, he's a mushroom. That. Uh, for ninth worst would be the uh, Please Teach Me Onadari Shogi. Uh, 
again, it wasn't, I don't know, it was just Shogi basically with kind of a sort of annoying gimmick tacked on. Uh, there wasn't really much else to it. Uh, eighth would be uh, A.N. no Filena, Eternal Filena. Again, it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't really bad, but I thought it stuck way too hard, I'm assuming, to the, uh, the novel story. Uh, it was just extremely linear, and, uh, yeah, and it, uh, I don't know, I think it harmed the gameplay you know, too often for the sake of, uh, lining up the story. Uh, the, the combat was also a little bit annoying. I don't think I mentioned when I was talking about it, but uh, it didn't really have like a fight command. There was just lots of uh, special abilities and stuff, uh, and different ones per each weapon type, like spears or swords or whatever. Uh, and so you were always having to like dig through menus to find like your best attack or whatever. Uh, which really kind of slowed down the even just the bog standard random encounters. Like you couldn't just hit fight over and over. You had to keep searching through menus for the specific attacks. Uh, next would be the G mode archives Beach Volley Girl Shizuku. Uh, I like the art style and, you know, it, it, it was nice and cheap and stuff, uh, and, you know, the, being able to unlock all the different, like, swimsuits and tan lines and stuff was cool. Uh, just the game was unfortunately just kind of ridiculously simple and not really, uh, you know, there wasn't really much skill in it, it was basically just, uh, you know, timing your, uh, I don't know, like just timing when to shoot the ball, and that was basically it, and just making sure you hit the button at the right time, it was, you know, basically as deep, uh, gameplay as, like, I don't know, cut, uh, quick time events. I wonder if that's like what Peach looked like as a kid or something, if that's what they... Uh, like if she grew from one of them. Oh, it is nice that Peach gets a pink mushroom and uh, Mario gets a red mushroom. Bowser gets a green one.
Okay. Uh, after that, the next, uh, I don't know, number six would be Bonkers on the SNES. Uh, again, not a bad game, just, uh, I don't know, plain and boring. I don't even remember much about it. It was just a bog standard. Uh, platforming game. Uh, next would be uh, number five, uh, Nightmare Boy. Again, not like wasn't really bad. I think it was it was we're kind of getting into the bad games. I think uh, or more like the disappointing games. I guess because the, uh, the art style was really cool. I was looking forward to it as like uh, you know this cool Metroidvania and uh, you know kind of dark uh, Halloweeny kind of world or whatever. Uh, I just found it to be I don't know kind of awkward. Uh, I don't know, controls, and uh, I don't know, just overall kind of not really good. Everything was a bit odd. The, uh, the boss fights were, I found, overly difficult, and because it was linear and you couldn't, like, grind levels or anything, it was like, well, you know, you're just kind of stuck here until you die over and over and then beat them. supposed to go under here. Okay, I guess I have to just keep uh, going into the ant one. So that means I'm going to have to fight the ant uh, every time. So next would be uh, number four, Brawl Brothers. Uh, again, not really bad, but just uh, uh, not really good either. Uh, I don't know, it was short anyways, but it was otherwise you know, unremarkable. one or more pals. Oh no, wait. Okay, I went down the wrong one there, I guess. I've got to like... 
Okay, I guess I've got to hit and go down the one that he's currently in. If he changes, then uh, it's no good. Uh, next would be number three, uh, Woodle Tree Adventures. Uh, it was, yeah, this is one where I would say, yeah, it's probably getting towards not being a very good game, towards actually being bad. It was, uh, you know, just the movement and everything, uh, I don't know, the controls, I don't know, just everything about it was just kind of a little bit bad. Uh, Number two would be Tom and Jerry. Again, it was just so bland. It was, you know, like I'm not really a huge fan of Tom and Jerry or anything, but uh, uh, it just didn't seem to really have anything to do with it. Like it was just a super generic platformer with it with the name slapped on it. Uh, and then the worst game would be Pocket Mini Golf. Uh, that was like a uh, very mobile style uh, mini golf game that was just, uh, I don't know, really kind of obnoxious with how you know you restarted everything uh, when you died, uh, unless you spent like gems or I don't know, there was some currency or whatever. Uh, you couldn't like buy it with microtransactions or anything, but. Uh, you know, you got them by doing courses or whatever, so it had this really weird kind of grindy feeling, and I, I haven't checked, but I'd be really surprised if it wasn't uh, started as a mobile game or something. Monstro Town? happening there. Uh, I think I am supposed to still uh, keep going after this guy.
Okay, there's no, uh, just checking if there was a switch option. But I guess not. Top 10 games. Uh, it's number 10 would be Spelunker. Uh, I just really like the, I don't know, platforming and, uh, I don't know, the music and everything. Uh, I don't know, it really, it has a bad reputation, but I think it's really, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, you know, I think it's kind of like the, you know, the Dark Souls of platforming or whatever. I think it's. Uh, I think it's just kind of misunderstood where, you know, you just have to be precise and, uh, you know, like, pay attention, go slow. Uh, if you just kind of rush through and be like, oh, I'm gonna play it like Mario or whatever, then, yeah, you die over and over. Uh, but I, you know, I really like just, you know, learning it. And, uh, Uh, and I really like the, uh, I don't know, the sequel, Splunker Party, which, uh, will be later in the list. Oh, jump in here. Uh, nine would be Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. worth it. Uh, yeah, so Ukulele and Impossible Lair, I think uh, it was just a really good platformer. Uh, Reminded me a lot of uh, Donkey Kong Country, uh, which I loved growing up. Uh, that one and two. Uh, eight was uh, Wipeout Omega Collection on the PSVR. Uh, I don't really care for racing games, uh, especially not just kind of normal ones. Uh, you know, I generally prefer Mario Kart or whatever, but uh, I think for the VR at least, this is like a killer app. Uh, like it was just so crazy, uh, you know, being in the car and everything. have to get the fortune so you can get up here. Golden Axe Warrior. Uh, it was a really great kind of Zelda clone. Uh, it had some problems. Uh, it wasn't as good as uh, like uh, the actual Legend of Zelda, but uh, it was still really good. And uh, I think anyone who likes the NES Zelda should play it. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of disappointed there aren't more games like it. Uh, you know, games like the original Zelda are pretty rare.
Uh, uh, six was Smoosh. Five. It's just, you know, crazy fun, uh, chaotic. You just, you know, build your war machine and just, you know, blow stuff up and see how the physics engine works. You know, I had a lot of fun going through that. Uh, and, you know, I don't normally just keep you know playing kind of sandbox games. Uh, I like to go through the main story, but uh, uh, even just going through like the main missions was tons of fun. And I know there's a big community of people who just like make all kinds of crazy designs and share them and stuff. Uh, you know, kind of like you do in Minecraft or whatever. Donkey Kong and Game Boy. Uh, there's tons of uh, fun, like puzzle platforming. Uh, uh, it's, you know, not uh, not a very well-known game. I don't think many people, uh, you know, you don't hear about it too often. Uh, even like I think Mario Land and stuff is more popular. I think probably because uh, you know the Donkey Kong name, people thought it was just going to be the Donkey Kong arcade game, but uh, it's actually really good. All sorts of it's this you know strategy game but with uh, all kinds of cool races uh, and stuff uh, you know you've got like lizard men and skeletons and vampires and orcs and dwarves and elves and everything uh, which you know I find that so much more fun than just a historical game where it's all uh, you know just different uh, you know, different guys that all look the same but they've got like a different flag or whatever It was just so much fun seeing stuff like, you know, a, a, a T-Rex and a Stegodon, like, charge into a, you know, a group of Elvish uh, spearmen or whatever, or, you know, a bunch of vampires taking on, like, some Empire Knights, or, you know, uh, there's crazy, all the, you know, crazy situations you got in the battles was just so fun. games in Warhammer are a bit long, uh, you know, it takes like 40 hours or so to get through one, uh, and you do often die like five hours in and have to either save scum or restart completely. and he'll <laughs> three was a uh, spelunker party uh, 
yeah, everything I said about the original Splunker, uh, plus it's just got so much more, uh, well, more levels, uh, uh, and there's all sorts of, uh, equipment you can get and level up, and, uh, I don't know, there's just a ton to do in it, and, uh, you know, it's just tons more Spelunker. Uh, it's got multiplayer, which, uh, would be great to do, uh, you know, if you've got, you know, friends to, friends that want to play it or whatever. Okay, so you gotta just hit that, but not actually uh, uh, pick up the scroll. This guy looks like a Final Fantasy thing. Mallow would have been better instead of Bowser. Bowser should be dead if they've got the same HP. Okay, it looks like the clones do have about the same HP, maybe a little bit more. I'm hoping there's a limit, like he's not just going to keep uh, cloning us, like every time he's got a free spot. <sighs> That's 
nice. It's the, uh, the Super Mario World sound. Okay, the clones definitely have more HP, uh, but I don't think they've got that much more. Does keep cloning. Yeah, so that's annoying. It the uh, sleepy time doesn't work on anybody who I would want to actually use it on. on killing Balome. Yeah, at least the Marios can't really hurt uh, Bowser too much. Uh, and I don't know if he cloned Peach if she would start healing him, which could be bad. So, uh, Mario, I'll just put up with the Marios. So I still don't know what get a freebie means, if it's, uh... Like I get flower points or something? Alright, do I gotta finish off the Marios now? I do. Oh well, one or two turns each. After Splunker Party, uh, I've got uh, Neo 2 and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Uh, I think probably Paper Mario edges out Neo for one, but uh, they're pretty close, I think. Uh, yeah, so for Neo, I just uh, ended up finishing it uh, last night. Yeah, the, the gameplay was fun. Uh, I love the you know the combat. There was a ton of different items and stuff you could use. Uh, all the different spells and ninja stuff was fun. Uh, the different weapons uh, were fun to use. Uh, I mostly used the Switch Glaive, uh, but towards the end, I I started using the uh, two-handed sword. Uh, uh, during the previous game, I had used the Kusarigama the entire time. Uh, so I just, you know, I, I really like the Kusarigama, but I wanted to use something a bit different, and I kind of like using very versatile weapons. That's why I had used it before. Uh, 
Uh, and so that's why I used the Switchglaive. It seemed kind of... Uh, it was different, but... Uh, Yeah, still kind of varied. Uh, yeah, there's got to be one in this room. No, oh, there's not one in this room. Anyway, yeah, also the Switchglaive, uh, it's scaled with magic, I think, typically, and I like using all the different magic, so, uh... Uh, I didn't care for the, all the, like, loot grind and the, uh... Uh, yeah, all the loot grind and all the excessive amount of different mechanics and stuff, all the, uh, you know, plus 2% damage to, like, this one specific enemy and, you know, plus 1% damage with this other special attack and all that stuff uh, wasn't very good, but uh, I found it easy enough to just ignore it, just equip whatever, and uh, it seemed to go okay anyways. Yeah, the levels were, uh, I don't know, a bit repetitive, uh, less repetitive than the first Neo, which was all uh, caves and burnt out villages. Uh, this one was still, yeah, it was a lot of burnt out castles and burnt out villages and caves and stuff, but uh, it had a bit more variation anyways. So that's a... Uh... Alright, so the, uh, I guess the super jump I do during battle, I can actually chain more than one, even though I've only ever done one. kills all his kids. Spiked Link. Uh, what's... Oh, weapon for Bowser. Okay. 
10 less attack, 3 less defense, 10 less magic attack, 1 more magic defense. So let's just... I don't know if the, the work pants must have some other hidden uh, bad thing about them or something. The, the work pants can't be, like, that good. Uh... Okay, something's gonna happen here. Flower. Just writing this down. Uh, green bed. Between O and A. I don't know if I'm going to bother doing that. It'd be kind of boring searching all around, and nothing really comes to mind. Okay, I don't know if I want to leave yet. He's doing that much damage to Bowser. He's gonna really hurt the other guys. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The characters were cool. Uh, I like. You know, I don't typically care for the story in games, but uh, there wasn't that many cutscenes or anything, and they weren't overly long. And they were typically full, uh, you know, a full of like cool fighting and stuff. I won't hit Peach again. Uh, and I really, I really like the ending. Uh, it was really, I don't know, touching seeing. Uh, I don't know, like spoilers, I guess, but uh, yeah, seeing uh, Hokushiro uh, kind of come back to help you during the end was cool. How he's, uh, I don't know, uh, helping you during the last fight and everything.
sure. I'm betting he's gonna beat me though, because uh I'm guessing he's more like any game. Come back here later. Uh, after the last boss or whatever. So tied with Neo, more or less, would be uh, Paper Mario. Ah, uh, which was just... Oh, I hit the wrong person. I should heal Bowser, I think. Ah, uh, but yeah, the... Uh, you know, it was just so charming. Like, they had just all sorts of... I don't know, just like this game. There's all sorts of funny little... Uh, you know, gags and stuff, and uh, references to the Mario universe, and uh, uh, and I like how Luigi was off on his own adventure, and he'd stop by sometime to tell you about it. Of course, the Paper Mario games, they all look great. Uh, you know, even the first one. Uh, yeah, the, the art style is just so cool. Um, oh yeah, I know this year, uh, what was it, Bug, Bug Tales or whatever came out? Uh, I haven't played it yet, but uh, I do intend to sometime. Uh, I had heard they were going to do a physical copy with I think limited run games, so I was hoping to get that, but uh, I don't know, I may end up uh, just getting the digital eventually. Yeah, I do like the Paper Mario combat, I think better than this. Uh, yeah, I really like the, you know, I think I mentioned it before, but like, you know, one attack equals one more damage, one defense equals one less damage. The kind of simple uh, thing where you can really then kind of, you can actually strategize because you know, like, okay, this, if this thing says it gives plus one attack, I know what that means. Whereas if something says, oh, you know, gives plus 50 attack and minus 10 defense and plus two speed or whatever, it's like, okay, like, is that worth it? Because you have no idea how these formulas work. I, I, I beat him once, I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing you keep fighting him or something. Right, I gotta go back to that. Uh, uh, one spot. As far as, I don't know, games coming out next year, uh, or ones that, or just in general that I'm looking forward to playing soon, uh, well I know of course Breath of the Wild 2 will be out. Uh, I never played Hyrule Warriors, I wasn't really interested in it. Uh, I don't really care much for the Zelda lore or anything like that, I think that's, you know, uh, I think they just they started off just kind of you know making it up as they went and stuff uh, 
and then it's been kind of, I don't know, I think they put more of an emphasis on it than they, they really wanted to. I think they still don't really care about the story, but they're, uh, I don't know, they're kind of expected to have it, so... Uh, like when I played Breath of the Wild, I just I skipped basically all the cutscenes and stuff, and uh, uh, I don't think I got any of the memories or anything. But it was fun just you know playing the actual game. Uh, and you know I don't really care for the Warriors style gameplay, uh, and so the only other reason would be for like you know the, the story connection or whatever. But uh, I don't really care about that, so uh, I don't think I'll play it, but uh, I am looking forward to uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, I'm hoping they don't go, uh, I don't know, knee-jerk uh, other direction from Breath of the Wild, because I know, like, I liked it mostly just as it was. There was some stuff I didn't care for in it, uh, but... Uh, Overall, I think it was really kind of getting the Zelda series back on track from what it should have been. Uh, uh, but I know a lot of people complain about, oh, there's, you know, it's too empty, there's not enough towns, there's not enough NPCs, there's just not enough cutscenes and stuff. Uh, and... Uh, and so I'm hoping they don't just go and... Uh, do something like that where it's, you know, it's another, like, uh, Skyward Sword kind of game where it's just linear cutscenes and stuff constantly. I, I'm assuming I must come back here after I, uh, uh, do the other guy. Uh... Yeah, probably I, I get to that cliff and then he'll teach me some thing or whatever. And then I can go back there and get that. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to Breath of the Wild, but uh, you know, caution, cautiously optimistic. that uh, I've got a lot of VR games I'm hoping to get uh, playing. I did have my VR stuff kind of packed up for quite a while and wasn't playing it because uh, I was getting ready to move and stuff. Uh, but now I've got it all kind of out and I've got you know, all of you know, pretty much the entire PSVR library uh, or maybe I don't know 90% of it anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting through a lot of that. Uh, it's like Resident Evil 7, uh, we got the Iron Man game, uh, that Star Wars game. Uh, and then just, I don't know, a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, even if I don't end up beating them or anything, I just want to kind of play through each of them a bit. Uh, just to like experience them. There. Uh, probably I want to play more, uh, I don't know, NES games this year. Uh... Okay, I guess I can't ride those cannons up there. Uh, but yeah, I want to play, get through a bunch more NES games and, uh, uh, you know, like platformers and stuff like that. Uh, and I finally beat Zelda 2. I'm hoping to maybe get through, uh, some other games like that. Uh, you know, like Rygar and, uh, I think there's a whole bunch of other kind of similar kind of style games on the NES.
There's a lot of lizards in here. So I did have, I did get the uh, ghost to Tsushima. Uh, I got it cheap, I forget where, but it was like $30 or something, I think. Um, or no, actually, no, that was Neo. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I paid 60 or whatever for ghosts. Uh, but yeah, I probably want to play that sometime, although, you know, having just beat Neo. Uh, what, what will happen if I go right here? Okay. Oh, huh. That's funny. Uh, that reminds me of in uh, Mario 64. Uh, in... It's a wet-dry world. Uh, there's a, the cannon up in the one corner uh, where you can... I always uh, like doing this as a kid. You know, uh, you can point the cannon up uh, as high as you can go, pointing it at the sun, uh, like right in line with it, and then Mario will hit the invisible wall and then uh, uh, fall on, you know, land right next to the cannon and take falling damage, and then fall into the cannon, uh, and then you can shoot him again, and you can repeat, keep repeating that, uh, and then uh, eventually he'll be dead in the cannon. Uh, and at that point, when you shoot him, if he lands on anything and, uh, anything that's not a coin, basically, then he'll just die instantly when he hits the ground. Uh, or if he lands in water, he'll, uh, he'll just immediately drown. Uh, even though he's landed, like, at the surface of the water, he'll drown. Uh, which I had just... I don't know, I found that hilarious when I was playing it as a kid, I was just, I would just do that over and over, just, uh, like, shoot Mario's corpse into the water. Man, I wish I could just have three Bowsers on my team. This Bowser takes, like, so little damage, and he does the most. I've got to actually do that thing. God, all the enemies in this place are annoying. They're right in the way. Probably should have healed everyone there.
Yeah, so I'm, uh, I just got out my Switch. Uh, just kind of seeing what other games I plan to play in the future. Uh, or, you know, next year. Uh, I did that one uh, G-Mode Archives game. Uh, the Beach uh, Volley Girl, she's good. Uh, They've actually got, you know, they've got like 20 or something different games on there. Uh, uh, and so I was gonna, you know, they're all like five bucks, so uh, I was probably gonna uh, try a couple more of them anyways. Uh, yeah, and they've got just every kind of game they made. Like there's, they've got JRPGs and action RPGs and you know, like sports and party games and stuff. So yeah, it'll be fun to try out a couple of them. So I saw that little uh, cloud thing earlier in the, uh, the ship, I think. But I didn't, uh, I don't know, I left the screen or something, and then uh, when I came back it was gone, so... Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's just some like random wandering enemy, like uh, I don't know, like Entei in them in Pokemon, or I think the Final Fantasy games actually often have enemies like this. I, I guess I get some rare item maybe, or. Not sure if there was any real uh, benefit there. Alright, this must be it. Yep. Ah, uh, okay, I don't get a special ability or anything. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get through that other thing back there. Oh. Okay. I've also I've noticed there's a couple, uh, uh, they've got some games on the Japanese e-store for, uh, like, learning kanji and stuff. I guess they're probably, uh, aimed at kids, but, uh, I've tried a couple of them. Uh, some of them only work in handheld mode, though, so it would be a, diff a bit difficult to do, like, a video or anything on them. But, I don't know, I'll see. Uh, and one of them is uh, called uh, Kanji Nankuro 1000. Uh, it's basically just uh, like crosswords, but uh, in Japanese. Uh, 
I, I found them fairly difficult, even the easy ones. Uh, they're not just uh, you know basic everyday words. Even the even the easy ones have uh, I don't know obscure and advanced words in them. So uh, I don't know. I'll probably keep playing around with that and maybe do a video on it sometime. Looking at some other uh, Japan exclusive games that I thought might be fun to play through a bit and maybe do a video. Uh, there's a couple uh, Ho Ho related games. Uh, one of them is a tactical RPG. Uh, I haven't played it yet and I don't know really anything about Toho, so I don't know who knows. But uh, yeah, I like tactical RPGs anyways, so. We probably should be okay. Uh, there was also uh, Lover Kiss. Uh, it looks like uh, the Love Plus game. Uh, I got one of them on the 3DS. Uh, I don't know if it's related. I thought that was by Konami, but this is by. Uh, someone else. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Japan exclusive and I doubt it will get translated anytime soon. Uh, and, but it was, uh, it was on sale recently. For, you know, it's, it's regularly a full price, it's expensive, uh, you know, like 6,000 uh, 6, yen uh, or whatever. Uh, plus DLC and stuff like uh, you know it's a I don't know a waifu weeb game so uh, they tend to charge a lot for those uh, but it was on sale recently like three thousand yen uh, for it and all the DLC so I got it. Bees are annoying. Alright, what are these? This isn't gonna this will take us a while, I think. Yeah, I'm still really hoping uh, Peach gets a uh, hit everybody attack, or Mario does. Because Bowser's Terrorize is just... I don't get it. Like, it, it misses a whole bunch, but it seems to do really inconsistent damage. Uh, and the input command is weird, the rotating the controller. Uh, should've, I should've had her heal everyone, actually. Yeah, I've got another a couple other uh, switch games on here that I'm 
uh, looking forward to playing sometime soon. There's uh, uh, Shadows of Adam. Uh, it looks like a spiritual successor to Mystic Quest. Uh, so I'm hoping it's good. Uh, I got it on PC like back when it came out and never played it, and then got it on sale on the Switch. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll finally play it. Haunted Halloween 86, uh, I think it's like a platformer, but uh, my understanding it is it's like an NES game that I don't know if they ported it to the Switch or if it's running in an emulator, but uh, that's cool. Uh, I have been playing around a bit with uh, just uh, NES programming and uh, ROM hacking and stuff, so... Yeah, I got interested in that. Madarika Real Estate on the Switch. Uh, I printed off all the... I don't know from... I'm not 100% sure what kind of game it is, but it looks like it's a, a puzzle-ish kind of game, but uh, you uh, print off the uh, house schematics or whatever they're called. Uh, and I don't know, you move them around or something, but I always really like games where you draw a map or whatever, so I thought that would be uh, interesting. pile of uh, visual novels on the uh, Switch. Uh, I guess it's the new Vita, basically. Uh, so I'm hoping to... Uh, okay. Uh... Let's try new again. Yeah, it, I don't get it. it it just never works, so... Okay, that did less than his physical attack would have. Mario. Yeah, so like for visual novels I've got, uh, you know, I've been planning to read them just to uh, practice Japanese. I've got uh, Nin Nin Days, Tanari Ni Kanjo no Yu Shiwase. Uh, and I think there's a couple in that uh, series, or whatever. Uh, Prison Princess, which is not 100% visual novel, I think. Uh, oh, I also got the, uh, the Digimon game. Uh, I imported the Japanese version, because uh, that's another kind of annoying thing, is uh, a lot of the kind of more licensed uh, whatever games tend to not uh, bring over the Japanese sub. Uh, like the, if you buy the, uh, 
the North American cartridge. Uh, it doesn't have the Japanese uh, text in it. Uh, and I think vice versa. So I had to import the game. Which is annoying because it's more expensive, but uh, oh well. I've got, uh, I don't know, tons of Switch games that I want to play. I think I've probably got about 100 Switch games on here. Uh, I really do wish they would uh, make a uh, folders or something just so I could organize them by like you know, tactical RPG, visual novel, uh, platformer, games I've beaten, and so on. It would just make it so much more helpful than just a great big blob list. should just be having her use that and save the, uh, the items for when she gets killed. take a while and the battles under there take a while. So, yeah, maybe I'll come back here later if I uh, I don't remember or Okay, it's it's not gonna be just the one. I think this is a boss battle or something. He's going to become a big one or something. I'm guessing after I beat these three, uh, either he's going to make a giant one, or he'll come out and Mario will kill him or something. I'm hoping he doesn't become four and then five. Although I do see two empty stocks on this. Oh, 
Gotta heal the uh, flower points. Uh, if, she, if we were out of flower points there, we'd be in trouble. should survive, I think. And then he can revive uh, Peach if she dies. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, I think it's more important to get these two healed. last form. I really hope there's not a form with like uh, three heads or anything. a good use of it. I hope 99 isn't like the max it can ever heal.
Trying to get the coin. Uh, well, kind of running out of resources. Uh, I hope there's no more bosses until uh, I get to a town and stock up on syrups and stuff again. ready to launch. to hold diagonal. Oh good, is that uh yes. Alright, I'm healed up for uh flowers. Alright, I'll leave that coin there. I don't really care to get all of them. More trouble than it's worth right now.
Oh, these are Malo's people. Alright, I guess this must be Malo's hometown. playing today. Uh, I thought I might get through it today, but uh, looks like at most I would maybe get one more star piece, so it may be uh, another day or two. Uh, but anyways, uh, I guess that's it for now. 